Hey guys, thanks for hanging out again today. I am excited to be back with you doing a review about American Royals. Um, I've already done the review for the first book in the series called American Royals. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and check that out. Today, I'm going to be doing the second book in this series called Majesty. Um, I really like this book. I actually really like this book better than the first one. And I simply think that's because we really learned about the characters in the first book um and it, we kind of just like had to get the backstory we had to get a lot of information about it first and now that i have that um i felt like i was more like connected with the characters I was really excited to see where their stories went um now i listened to this on audiobook i didn't actually physically read this book and I do suggest doing that because they did different voices for all the characters and it really just like helped me get more into the characters and it made me feel more connected with the characters because I'm like, oh yeah, that's that character or that's that character type of thing. Um, so we come into this book with lots of drama from the first book. Um, we are picking up right where we left off. Beatrice has just been elected queen because her dad dies in the last book. And we see her journey into being queen and there's so many sacrifices she's going to have to make and so many choices she's going to have to make and just things she has to do as queen that is really making her question like, do I want to be the queen? Is this really worth it? Or do I just want a normal life? Um, her sister Samantha and her brother Jefferson, they're twins and they're like kind of the spares and so they kind of just get to live their life however they want and she really sees that and she's like almost in a way envies it because she's just like I wish I could make my own choices and Samantha kind of envies Beatrice because she's like oh you're the most important one kind of thing so it's like they almost both kind of want each other's lives but um, don't ever really discuss that with each other. Um, but we do get to a point in this book where they kind of do discuss that and they kind of bond over it. So it's kind of cool that they finally get to that point um, with each other. I just saw this and I'm about to just set the book up there. Ah, genius idea. Um, but anyway, <laughs> there's so much drama that goes down. We see Nina and Jefferson's relationship like happen in this book. We see them be together, them break up. I mean, it's like such teenage angst in this book. There's so many teenage problems. And like these kids are like the royals of America, which is crazy. And we get to follow their life and we get to see like their, their craziness that they have to go through. Um, and they're just like in college, just like trying to figure out life, you know? Um, with like the whole world watching everything that they do and say and everything i mean nina like she's with jefferson now so the paparazzi are getting pictures of her even just like walking from class to her dorm room and like she's not all dressed up and pretty and you know she's not made up a hundred percent of the time especially not while she's in college um she's just trying on to focus on like getting good grades but like they're taking these awful pictures of her and she's just like Ugh, like what am i supposed to do kind of thing um, we see Daphne back here in this book who is like one of my favorite characters honestly she's so crazy and she just always is causing some kind of problem she's always like coming up with some kind of scheme which I feel like just makes this so interesting and so much fun to read about her and she's just involved with Ethan and Jefferson as always like she just can't decide what she wants and then she's got all this pressure on her to be with Jefferson but in reality she likes Ethan but in reality she likes them both and she just can't make up her mind so anyway we see a lot of drama come from her um Jefferson not really my favorite character I feel like he's very um shallow and just like there's not much substance to him I'm sorry if your opinion is different but that's just my opinion on him I do like Ethan and I like hearing about him he's not a royal but he is with the royal family all the time and so it's cool to see things like kind of from his perspective and see how he kind of ties into all of this craziness. Um, I am literally so excited for the third book because we are left on a giant cliffhanger in this book. And I will not tell you what that is. You're going to have to read it to find out. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this one without giving too much away. Um, I did say that I, I listened to it on audio and I will say that I hated the Queen's voice on these audio but I wish they had done a different voice for her because they make her sound like such a weird like snob um and maybe like that's how we're supposed to take her but like from me listening to it I really didn't feel like she was this giant snob yes. I absolutely hate Beatrice's advisor so there's that too 
Um, but yeah, I really like how this ends and I'm, it's just, I'm so excited for the next one and I have it on reserve at the library and I'm waiting my turn. So I'm waiting <laughs> for that to come in and then I will read that and give it a review for you so you can see if you would like to read it as well. But this is a great series. I'm so excited that I found it and read it and can review it for you. So that's all I have to say about that one. And I post every single day on my Instagram. So I'd love to see you over there. If you would like to see more content from me, go check that out. Also, make sure you like and subscribe this to this video, to my channel, however you want to do it. <laughs> um, because I post a weekly video here every single Friday and I would love to see you back here then. And I post a lot like during the week as well. So check back because I post a lot of videos. <laughs> um, leave me a comment below because I love hearing from you. And that's pretty much all I have to say. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>